Hi y'all, Tabitha here and welcome to another diaper backpack review. And so today we'll be talking about the Lekki Baby. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you're tired of hearing that. Like everybody says that in their YouTube videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like for more videos. Don't y'all worry whether you subscribe or not. I will be making more videos because I do this because I like to do this and I just think it's fun. And if my content can help someone else out there, great. That's awesome. So reviewing this backpack today and if you want to learn a little hack on how to save money on your next Amazon purchase, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll be talking about that too. So, a few pros and cons of this Lekki Baby backpack. I had it for two and a half years, and it's in really good condition for a backpack that's been owned for that long, I have to say. I did have to buy a new one because this one broke and uh, the cost to repairing it would be the same as getting a new backpack, so I figured I'll just get a new one. But I absolutely loved it. It was a great first baby diaper backpack. So, let's jump into the pros. The first one being it is washable, y'all. Your babies are gonna do crazy things to your backpack and you're going to have to throw it in the wash. Like you're not gonna have a choice, it's going to happen. And so what I loved about this backpack is I could literally just empty it out, throw it in the wash and um, yeah, and then just hang it up to dry and it was not an issue, it came out looking brand new. So that's definitely something I didn't know that I wanted in a baby diaper bag, but it's definitely a game changer. So keep that in mind when you're uh, shopping around for a backpack. And if you, by the end of this video, if you want this backpack, I will leave a link in the description below and you can go buy it on Amazon. Another thing that I loved about this backpack was the zipper. I actually rave about the zipper because my new backpack, I would say the zipper is not, maybe just like a normal quality, but this zipper is just like above it's like supreme quality in zippers and the way they sewed it on, they like sewed it backward, like inside out. The zipper's literally inside out, um, which actually makes it easier to unzip. So it's interesting. I'm gonna try and like provide a picture so you guys can see. And also what I loved about this zipper was if I had like, if I was like holding my kid in one hand or had just had my hands full, cause as a mom that just happens, I could literally use one hand to unzip it. Whereas with my new backpack that I absolutely love, I have to say I do love it. I need both hands to unzip it just because the zipper's not made the same. It's maybe just like a mediocre quality versus this one is definitely a higher quality. Actually, if you want to see my review on my brand new diaper bag, I uh, actually made one like a week ago or so. So I'll leave it also in the comment and uh, the link. And oh my gosh, I can't speak today. Ugh, too much coffee. That's what happens when you have too much coffee. Anyway, I don't care. Coffee. I need coffee in my life. It's just. It's a thing. I'm a mom of two. I need coffee. Anyway, I will leave a link in the description below to the other video I did reviewing my brand new backpack. Okay, so back to this backpack. Maybe one thing that I don't love so much is on the inside, there are not that many compartments or pouches for putting different things. And so that was definitely a con for me because I like to have like a compartment for my wipes, a compartment for like, um, maybe just my diapers and then having a compartment for their change of clothes. Compartment, compartment, compartment. The more compartments, the better. Whereas this one really just has like a compartment for the baby pads, the main area, and then like uh, two other compartments. So there's not as many places to put things. Everything is kind of just plopped in the bottom of the bag, which is not so cool. Another thing I did not love so much about this one that the other backpack that I'm reviewing has um, is it doesn't have like a zipper or anything that can open up into the bottom of the bag. So I usually put my diapers in this backpack, I would put my diapers in the bottom of the bag and there was no way for me to access them without like pulling everything out or like reaching deep down into the bottom of the bag to get the diapers out and then hoping I grabbed the right size for the right baby. So that was not super practical I found and I've seen diaper bags that have a zipper um, that will literally open to the bottom of the bag and so that's definitely something that could be improved on this one. This one does have a zipper, it's for your cell phone which is practical. Um, I have to say it's cool to have like an easy access place where you can just dump your cell phone. Another thing I love about this diaper bag is it has latches on the back 
uh, where you can basically latch it onto your stroller and it'll just hang there. These latches are not as awesome as the latches on my other diaper bag that I just bought, um, but they will definitely do the trick. They'll definitely hold their heavy duty. Uh, they, they never broke on me and they will probably never break because they're just really tough that way. One other thing that I think could be probably modified on this bag or made better uh, would be that these side pouches, if one could be specifically made for wipes. So we're always needing wipes. We're just for all the time, everything, wherever you go, the park, the coffee shop, wherever it is you go, you need wipes quick on hand. And though they do have nice side pouches that are strong and sturdy and can hold drinks, they're not made to size for baby wipes and so that is definitely something that they could modify on this backpack that I think would just make it even better. So that's all I have you, for you today when it comes to this backpack. Now let's jump into how you could potentially get it for cheaper. Let me explain something to you about shipping when it comes to Amazon. So when you have something shipped through Amazon in their terms and conditions policy, if it arrives late, you are allowed to have a rebate if you request it. So let's say you order your backpack on Wednesday and only comes in Thursday or Friday. You can message um, client services and just say, hey, my, I was supposed, my shipping date was on a Wednesday. I got it Thursday or Friday. Um, I would like to have the rebate that you guys specify in your terms and conditions and they will give you a rebate. It can be 10% off. It can be up to 25% off, I heard. So my latest rebate for the backpack that I ordered, the baby diaper backpack that I ordered, uh, they gave me a 10% rebate, which, you know, it was five bucks, but it's still five bucks, so my next order will be five dollars cheaper. So it's super easy to contact them. They don't usually hassle you about it. You just tell them that it arrived late, and I mean, I'm sure they can see that it arrived late. They are technologically advanced enough to be able to figure that one out. And they just give you a rebate on your next purchase, so that's, pretty cool. That's all I have for you guys today. If you want to hear more from me, please hit that subscribe button. You can even hit the bell button if you want to, but you don't have to hit the bell button if you don't want to. And you don't have to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to. I um, will still be posting every Friday about mom life and just different tips, tricks, and hacks that I'm learning as I navigate being a mom of a two-year-old and a now six-month-old. So on that note, I wish you all a great day. Don't forget to sip your coffee. And we'll see you next Friday.